Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from Shomu's Biology. In this video, I am going to give you the secret information that nobody has shared ever in YouTube regarding CSN and Life Science Examination. And I myself was surprised to see this uh, data when I started analyzing last 10 CSINET question papers, particularly from the time when CSINET is being conducted in CBT mode and it has two shifts, shift 1 and shift 2 papers. A surprising pattern is observed. If you watch all my lectures regarding CSINET preparation series, tips and tricks series, you know that I already made a video regarding the most important unit. I already made a video regarding the syllabus weightage. I already made a video on the CSINET question pattern distribution in different units. So this is the table. This is the table that I used out there. This is my Excel sheet that I used out there, which is a premium sheet only for our online coaching students. But these two videos I released on demand and for my 2 million subscriber achievement. So to celebrate that achievement. So here what I stated is the most important units are this. 3, 6, 13, 8, 7, 1, 10, 4 and 5. The least importance are the 4, 9, 11, 2 and 12 in that order. Now, this is very simple. If you know how I derive this, then watch my video on CSN and Life Science question weightage and question pattern weightage. You will probably get this video. I will put the link in the description. But now, the most interesting fact that I found out is that there is a pattern of how many questions are asked from different units in the different shifts of CSN and life science examination. There is a pattern. And if you follow that pattern, you can predict CSIR nest question paper. I mean, whether you'll get more question from one unit over the other in upcoming CSN and exam. Yes, we can predict it. You can predict it. And it's very simple with the data set that I have. Now I'm unveiling this for the first time. You can see I'll click here and click open up. This is the data set that I'm seeing. There are a total 10 CSI question papers and average number of questions that we saw asked being asked from different units of CSI and life science syllabus. And you can see there is a strange pattern, right? The pattern is you can see that always whenever it is distributed as first, second means two shifts, uh, 20, 2020 first and second shift, February 22, first and second shift, September 22, first second shift, uh, June 23, first second shift, like that way. You can see that always between the shift, the number of questions are unevenly distributed. That means if in shift one, we have more question for unit three. In shift two, there will be less question for unit three. Select any particular unit, let's say unit three, the number of question will be asked or given in the question paper in shift one. If it is 14, then in shift 2, it will be less than 14, it is, it is 10 or 11. Or vice versa, it can be opposite. That means, generally, we are not seeing equal number of questions in both the sets. Probably, due to the number of questions, the total number of questions that is produced, probably the way the questions are picked up, they are always left with same number of questions. So, if they distribute it unevenly, obviously, one shift is going to get more questions than the other shift. See this pattern. Now, particularly for these first two units, unit 3 and 6, it's less common. But from unit 13 onwards, for all the units, is very common. You can see. Uh, so, see that. February 22nd, first shift, 10 questions. Second shift, 8 questions. Two questions less. Similarly, the next year, first shift, 10 questions. Second shift, 13 questions. Opposite. Reverse of that. Okay. And again, you can see, it's not likely that whether it will reverse or not, but actually, if they ask more question in one shift, the next shift, they're asking less question. Okay. This is something that is kind of standing true. And let's take another example. Let's take this one, unit 8. Let's take unit 8. You see, the September 22, first shift, 10 question, second shift, 9. Next time, first shift get less question, second shift get more questions. Reverse of that opposite to that and uh, you can see this stuff uh, most of the time you can see this stuff see unit 10 September 22 first shift 9 question less second shift 15 question more so more question in second shift than the first the next one second shift less question first shift more question reverse I'm not sure like I'm not telling that this is the exact way that they're doing but it cannot be coincidental in all the cases right 
yeah, see uh, the next one again unit 2 uh, unit 4 first shift september 22 first shift 8 questions second shift 12 questions so first shift less questions second shift more questions next uh, consecutive year first shift more questions second shift less questions so continuously is being repeated like this okay except for two three units rest say so almost like nine to ten units apart from the 13 among 13 units nine to ten units they're following the same pattern they're following the same pattern and this makes us thinking even in unit 12 5 4 then 4 5 a palindromic appearance is being <laughs> visible for the last four examination pattern two shifts at a time okay if that is if that is the pattern truly then i can put one thing out here i'll put a new column for you uh, to give you an idea uh, here i'll write down the first shift and here i'll write down second shift and i'll predict the number of question you can expect in the upcoming csi net examination so i'm making this video for the june uh, uh, so for the December 2023 examination and uh, for the December 23 examination what would be our prediction you can see uh, earlier for unit 3 first shift was more so I think first shift you will get more question and you will get less question in second shift okay that uh, would be something for this next one cannot comment on the unit 2 because same number of question uniform, uniform number of questions being asked the next one again 10 12 12 10 so again it will be reversed so it will be less here and less for first shift more for second shift 10 9 9 11 again see the palindrome uh, so I can tell the first shift will be more and second shift will be less sorry it was more it is less okay uh, 10 10 8 10 so it was equal then 8 10 so if we can reverse so i can say more you can say less for unit 1 10 6 10 uh, 10 6 11 10 so repeatedly ask that same way but with our logic we cannot predict anything for this one uh, for unit 10 9 15 13 12 so it will be less for shift 1 more for shift 2 for unit 4 8 12 so yeah it will be less for shift 1 more for shift 2 unit 5 11 10 uh, and 9 8 so cannot predict the same patterns being repeated unit 9 yes cannot predict unit 11 okay uh, it should be reverse of that so more so it will be less for the first and more for the second shift the next one seven seven eight four so equal than eight four so obviously less in the first more in the second shift and again more in the first shift for unit 12 less in the second shift so according to our rule uh, we cannot comment on four such units apart from the four units we commented for the rest of the eight uh, nine units so i am predicting this you will get more questions in first shift for unit 3 unit 8 unit 7 and unit 12 so for first shift candidates unit 1 unit 8 unit 7 sorry unit just a second unit 1 uh, unit 8 unit 7 and uh, unit 12 okay more questions you will expect from the first shift for the second shift more questions can be expected for unit 13 unit 10 4 11 2 13 10 4 11 2 all these units so now depending upon your shift you can practice this uh, units based on that rule based on this particular rule but I've, I've observed this pattern that's why i shared with you i may be totally off the chart uh, maybe complete coincidence based on the questions that they picked but 
I'll I'll try to check this with the question, the new question paper that we get in December 2023. If we get the similar pattern, then I'll reach uh, my verdict on this topic. Okay, but yes, this is something that is totally new. I believe totally eye opener, and these are some things that we always do at Shomu's Value. We're trying to provide you all this information that nobody can provide you. Our online coaching program is going on. If you want to join, if you wish to join, you can join. Uh, the details are there in uh, the description as well as the number is there in this video. So I believe this is a video uh, that will help you to understand and prepare your planning. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video to friends, subscribe to get more videos like that in future. Thank you. Bye.